Audi is struggling much like uh, most automakers are struggling. Bentley part of Audi Group is also struggling. But let's take a look at Audi. So this is an article from Jalopnik talking about how Audi, Audi is struggling because there's no reason to buy one. And there's some truth to that. The SUV market has come to the point where they're pretty much all the same. They look almost the same. Performance is very similar. As we've seen advancements in technology, the vehicles are very similar. There's just not much you can add to a vehicle that people actually want. Um, the ones I have maybe a little acceleration, but I have, uh, I guess, a little lower end. I'm thinking of my Jetta 5-speed, which I like, but it's, it's slow. Uh, Audi Group, looking at year-to-date, 2024 versus 2023. So the numbers are down, but they're not down horribly. I mean, definitely down, what, 150,000 vehicles. Looking at the margin, though, the operating margin, basically in half. That, that hurts. That really hurts them that their operating margin is half. But I think a lot of that's got to do with uh, people scaling back and they're just not buying the more expensive vehicles. So it's tough. The Bentley numbers really show that uh, people are scaling back. So Bentleys and a lot of the high-end vehicles, the people were buying them that really weren't in the demographic to be able to buy them. They weren't, you know, the people with enough money in their trust fund to write a check. They were the people that were selling crypto or doing YouTube videos or something and uh, making some money that wasn't sustainable. So they have uh, not been able to buy them. So thousand drop, they're saying 35%, but from you know almost 3,000 to uh, you're just under 3,000, just under 2,000, that's a pretty significant drop for Bentley. So yes, some profitability there as those are more expensive vehicles. So it should be some you know, real profit margin there. And that might be where a lot of that uh, cut in half is. Uh, Lamborghini is actually up a little bit, but it is their electric vehicles that they're cranking out. So we'll see how sustainable that is. Ducati, this shows drop at 8%, but they're relatively flat in sales. Ducati's been doing okay, but a lot of the motorcycle brands have been doing okay. I think just because they're not as high end and they're a little more useful in some areas. I mean, Ducati's a little higher end, but I mean, compared to Bentley Lamborghini. And Audi sales have definitely dropped, but their uh, profits dropped 91% and their vehicles have only dropped 16%. So, yes, yeah, sales have dropped. And, yeah, I think Audi, in my opinion, Audi needs to make some a little bit more exciting vehicles, but uh, we'll see what they come up with. Uh, hopefully not another bland little SUV. So this is in uh, euros and millions. So not quite in dollars that uh, I guess I'm used to dealing with. But the, uh, the, the cash flows, I mean, this actually shows better because they're talking about um, changing in their, I, I, I guess every company plays with the money. But operating profit, 106 million euros compared to over a billion euros in third quarter last year. So big drop for Audi. We will see what the changes in the economy do. Uh, we're watching the U.S. economy, of course. Presidential election just got over. We've had a few things going on. But this is the world economy for Audi and their profitability. So keep an eye on Audi. Let's see what they can do to turn around their numbers. Maybe you'll see a uh, low price Bentley coming at you. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. Don't think you're going to see a low price Lamborghini. But I, I would like to see more performance vehicles coming out of Audi that are not, not just all flash, but actually some substance and some better looking. I, I, I just can't get past some of the uh, SUVs they're producing that just look like everybody else's SUVs right now. But All right, that's what I got for Audi's profitability, our operating profit dropping like a rock. Thank you.